The Stax Spirit S5 are the most expensive headphones that Edifier currently make. In fact, these might be the most expensive headphones I've ever reviewed. And they use an audio technology unlike most headphones that you're likely to have used. So given that I've tried a ton of their other headphones, almost all of which I love because of the rich, warm Edifier signature sound, I thought I would see just how good Edifier can get. Because surely higher prices equates to higher quality, right? 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 I'll come back to that, but first, like always, I want you guys to get a rough idea of the very first impressions I had, which is much more raw and real than my formulated thoughts after a week of use. So let's start back when I unbox these. I was just about to sit down and read my copy of Sporting Gun, Gun Dog Edition, when the postman yet again arrived and brought this box from Edifier. So I thought I'd sit down and have a chill where I am and find out what it is. It's in a padded case. It's the first time I've ever had a bit of a lie down unboxing. It's quite nice, quite relaxing actually. Right, what do we got? Oh my God, it's a bigger box than I anticipated. Woo! Ooh, okay, these are wireless planar magnetic headphones. And this is actually... Seems to be a lot more technically packaged than a lot of Edifier products. Interesting. Mm. Okay, the box is very, very nice. Much more premium than a lot of Edifier products. Ooh, okay, very cool. We've got a lovely hard case here with some kind of fabric material on it. Mmm, very nice smell. Uh, oh, okay, what's this? A little bag with the ear cups on it. These look like almost a memory foam ear cup. Oh, Don, I wonder these have a different type of vehicle on. Ooh, ooh, hey up, these are very nice. A metal build on the top. These feel very robust. Quite a lot of movement there in the articulation. Doesn't lock. But they're quite a lot weightier than a lot of Edifier products. USB-C. Right, let's get these on and have a listen, shall we? Hold on, I've got to try these on first because they feel very soft. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very nice design. They're very, very sleek. I'll do some close-ups shortly, but these are very nice. Come on then, let's get these on. Let's have a listen. See what they're like. Clarity is very nice. They're certainly crispier than other Edifier products. Well, I can't deny these are very good. Well, initial impressions, I would say that these are probably some of the most even sound headphones that Edifier have made so far. Normally, they certainly lean towards a more warm tone. These have that, but they're definitely crispier, a lot more even, and there's a lot more clarity in them. So far, all I can say is that 
I'm pretty impressed. Now, before I give you my final thoughts after using these for the past week, let me run you through the specs and discuss the style and technology behind the Stack Spirit S5 headphones. As for style, they're very, very nice and very much an edifier design. Not too in your face, but just sophisticated enough to give them a bit of flavor. I like the brushed metal on the top, which has such a light brushed texture that it's almost mirrored. And I love how soft the genuine sheepskin leather is on the cups and the headband. Mm. Now there's also a hard wearing top grain cowhide leather on the exterior too, which is so well matched in color to the frame that it's not immediately obvious that that's the case. It's not really a good pair of headphones for vegans, I'll admit, but me personally, I've always been a fan of the use of leather in tech. It's a traditional material that looks good, feels good, and hopefully over time will gain a nice patina. But only time will tell about that. But I guess for those who don't like the patina, the case they come with is hard wearing and lined with a soft microfiber-esque lining, which will protect them from harm whilst you're traveling. And for those wanting to step away from the lambskin ear cups, Edifier have also included a set of cooling mesh ear cups that can be used in place of these, which I think is a real nice addition and means that for those that want a more breathable experience, perhaps for use in hotter climates or muggier climates or activities, then you can add those instead. Interestingly, in the Edifier Connects app, which is the piece of software you can use to customize the sound profile of the S5s, there's an equalization setting to change the sound based on the ear cup you're using. So if you do swap them over from the stock lambskin, pop in there and select that you're using the cooling mesh ones and it will calibrate the sound to use with those ear cups. Now there's a few other things you can do in here with the customization as well, but less than I thought there would be. You've got the ability to change between different preset sound profiles, starting with the original Edifier preset. There's also a dynamic option which changes depending on what you're listening to and a monitor mode for the most even listening experience, which is good for people like myself when doing things like editing videos. It basically gives you a much more neutral profile which helps you create a uniform edit on the sound. But if these modes don't tickle your pickle, of course you can run a custom profile, which interestingly, you can share and scan new profiles in by using the QR code system it has. Other than that, you've got game mode, which creates a sound profile that's ideal for gaming. Although in all honesty, I'm not sure how much I'll be using these for that purpose that much. But if I was, it's aided by the fact that these have Bluetooth 5.4, which gives an ultra low latency experience, which is ideal for gaming. They've also got a built-in microphone, which you're listening to now, which has some noise cancellation built in. They're not the best in the world, but it's certainly suitable for a pair of over-ear headphones. Lastly, they've got a whopping 80 hours battery life. Given that I've only had them for a week testing these out, I haven't yet run out of battery, and I've been using them probably nearly five hours a day doing my editing and writing sessions. Obviously, this will depend on how you're using them and what type of sound codecs you're putting through them. The higher quality the audio, the louder you have them, the less time the battery will last. But in terms of sound processing and supported codecs, these headphones run off Qualcomm Snapdragon sound, having high-res audio certification. But these things aren't really the technology I want to discuss. The tech that I want to discuss and open wide are the wireless planar magnetic drivers inside these things, which essentially differentiates them from 95% of headphones available. But what the hell does that actually mean? And why is it important? Well, this is actually a fascinating technology which uses a completely flat diaphragm rather than a typical cone or dome-shaped membrane. Now, headphones using planar magnetic drivers typically provide a more precise controlled sound with enhanced bass extension and lower distortion compared to traditional run-of-the-mill headphones. Generally speaking, the clarity is superior and the sound separation is far better. There are some downsides to this type of driver, but before I discuss those, I've got to say that Edifier have absolutely delivered on the promise with this technology. This is the first time from memory that I'm trying this type of driver in over-ear headphones. And I'm immediately a lover of this technology. I think Edifier have done themselves proud with these headphones. 
The sound is phenomenally clear, much crisper than any other Edifier headphones that I've tried, as you saw in my initial thoughts. And having tried it across a number of different media types and styles over the past week, I can comfortably say that the quality remained extremely consistent. But there are some considerations. You can't really fault the fact that these have very much a laser focus on being the best listening experience possible. But this has been at the expense of some of the bells and whistles, which means there are a few things that are missing that users of wireless headphones have potentially become accustomed to over the recent years. Features such as active noise cancellation or transparency type modes are all omitted, which isn't the be all and end all. I think the use case for these headphones is sat at home mulling over a fine whiskey rather than being dragged onto public transport trying to watch the latest episode of Antiques Roadshow. Mm. So under that assumption, ANC isn't really necessarily needed and nor is any other form of transparency mode for that matter. And because its planar magnetic drive technology is very much focused on clarity, some people might find that they lack that real kind of punch or that typical consumer headphone sound, which you'll find is a common point for most magnetic planar headphones. It's just the nature of the tech and the focus of the product to deliver clarity as its primary directive. And don't get me wrong, there's punch, but they're certainly not all about blasting heavily processed audio experience, lacking sound separation into your eardrums. There's nothing wrong with that, of course. There are many regular headphones that I love precisely because of the heavy sound processing. After all, sound is very much a personal preference, and what resonates with one person might not resonate with another. It's just two very different types of technology for very different audiences and use case scenarios. For those with a real appreciation for full width of whatever it is you're listening to, these are a fantastic option. And despite the fact that these are a whopping £499, that's actually a pretty mid-range price for this type of technology. Taking a look at other magnetic planar headphones, like those from Audis, for example, exceed over a thousand of the king's pounds for the pleasure of that crisp, clean sound that I think Edifier have achieved for a much lower price. I'm under no illusion, of course, that 499 is cheap. It's undeniably a hefty wadge of cash. And at that price, I think these will appeal to a much smaller crowd than the regular Edifier lineup. But for that smaller audience, I've got to say that I don't think you'll be disappointed with the awesome Stack Spirit S5 headphones from Edifier. Objectively, some of the clearest and even sounding headphones they've made, but also the most expensive. What do you think? Have you ever had a listen to planar magnetic headphones before? And if so, do you think it's worth the price jump over regular headphones? Let us all know in the comments below so we can have a good chin wag about it. And if you found today's episode helpful at all, and if they help you decide whether or not the Edifier Stack Spirits S5 headphones are for you, Make sure you return the favour, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you guys back for another episode of Stu's Reviews.